Welcome to NET Vapor Reviews. As you can see by the title of this video, we're talking today about nicotine. And it's about time too, because nicotine is the main ingredient in e-liquid that keeps you off the cigarettes. Nothing else does. I mean, it could be very nice flavor, very nice naturally extracted tobacco, but if it didn't have the kick of the nicotine that you're craving by, non by, not, by stopping to smoke, you're craving the nicotine, right? So the nicotine is one of the most important elements in the liquid. So we'll first start with the easy bit and then we'll go for into a bit more sophisticated. How, do you, how does one store nicotine? And someone sent me a, a, a comment, one of my, my, my reviews, he's from Australia and they were about to ban the nicotine sale in Australia. So everyone was bulking up a nicotine. If it goes off, what good is it? So you need to store it the right way. The way I store it is very simple. The three elements that ruin nicotine is air, light, and heat. So where is the darkest, coldest place in your, where you live, home, flat, wherever it is? Freezer. That is the best way to store nicotine. Now, should you buy an VG or PG? I don't think it makes a difference. It does make a big difference when you buy from the EU. I'll come to that in a minute. But UK-based nicotine, like a company called Nicotine UK, um, that's where I get my um, liquid uh, nicotine from, is you can buy in VG or in PG. Now, why am I saying that? Because, okay, I'll come to that in a minute. Right, let's not go off the track. Now, well, how do I store it? I put it in... 50 i buy from amazon i buy 10 of these bottles um and they cost six pounds 95 for 10 50 ml bottles this is the amber glass so it and 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 uh, with uh, tamper um uh, children proof caps this is very important because if a child gets a hold of this this is 72 milligrams and he drinks uh, god forbid right this is could be very dangerous so you must have child proof caps on it now to store them in plastic is also no problem some people say that plastic deteriorates a bit quicker but i i didn't see any evidence to that the reason why i put in glass because the glass i find is gets the liquid colder than in plastic um but as you know, nicotine never freezes because it's in VG. Even in PG, it wouldn't freeze, but in VG is for sure not. So there's no problem keeping them in glass bottles. So I buy 10 of these. The reason why I put them in 50 ml is because when I take one out from the freezer to add to my liquid, I expose it to light and to oxygen when I open it. So all the rest of the bottles are still securely in the freezer without being open to, to the elements. Eventually, nicotine deteriorates, but you can keep them in the freezer for years, two, three years, no problem. I've got nicotine still from two years ago, a year and a half ago, no problem at all. Um, so that's my method of storing them in the freezer. Obviously, I put on the label the company where I bought it from, the, the, what strength nicotine it is, and the date I put them in the freezer. So I guess I keep records of things. I get them in a... Um, half a liter 500 ml and that's it this I, I use for mixing juices of i want to mix a liquid with nicotine i put them in here give it a good mix then put it back in the 50 ml right okay now we're coming now to the next subject um sometimes you buy nicotine and it is completely clear colored like this one this is VG nicotine, 72 milligrams. I'm not going to show you the company. Where is this from? A guy in the office has bought it. Um, actually, he's bought them both. So I, I, he gave me one. I asked him to buy it for me. I don't have the time to order online, so they do it for me. Okay, so one ordered from this company, UK-based and this is from an eu-based company 
Now, both are VG. Now, just look at the difference in the color. This is the UK based. I especially kept it in 100 mil so you can see, because the rest is in the freezer. You can see the color of this nicotine. And you can see the color of this. Also, you can see the consistency of this. This is VG based as well. And you can see it's quite not so thick. This in comparison is thick as a syrup. Now when I'm looking at this label, it says here 92.8% VG, 7.2% pure nicotine. Okay. Now let's talk about first the colors. Is this a good sign or a bad sign? Most people most vapors will tell you, oh, no, 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 no. You buy them pink, it is no good. I will now show you a photo. Uh, the, the variations of natural colors of nicotine. Okay, so here comes the first photo. Now, you've seen the difference. There is like a light pink, like this one, darker pink, and there is like a lighter, like a brownie color. Like Those are the natural colors of nicotine. Now, I'll show you another photo, the difference between EU and the UK after a while. Have a look at this photo. Now you can see the difference between the EU and the UK after a while. One becomes like a dark brown and one uh, retains its natural color. Now I'll send, uh, I, will, I will show you now another photo of what means oxidized and what means not oxidized. So this color, it does not mean it's oxidized. I'll show you now what it means when it's oxidized. Have a look at this photo. Now you've seen the difference between oxidized and non-oxidized. The oxidized is dark brown color. The non-oxidized... <coughs> One minute. <coughs> The non-oxidized is a natural color. Now, I spoke to nicotine, dot, uh, nicotine um, UK supplier, and they are, um, let's have a look on the website here, one minute. They're called Nico Brand. Nico Brand is based in, I think, Northern Ireland. And I spoke to them in length on how they produce this nicotine. Why is this such a color? And is there any truth in the myth that if it's pink, it means it's no good? Now, this company, Nico Brand, supply all the chemists and pharmacies with the uh, Nicorettes, the chewing gum, the patches, the inhalers, anything that's got to do with nicotine comes from Nico Brand. So the 100% they know what they're talking about, right? They have the top chemists, top scientists, and, 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 and laboratories. And they told me that this color is a natural phenomenon of when extracting nicotine from the leaf. Sometimes <clears throat> it's a deeper color, sometimes it's a lighter color. But they all vary in shades of pink. On some batches that I received from Nicotine UK, a batch once, that it was not completely clear, nearly clear. And that is the crucial difference. You see, there is a... I'm just repeating what I was told. There is a certain companies, I'm not going to mention names or countries, but not in the UK, who use a bleaching agent 
to keep the VG and the nicotine solution clear, like, like water. I'm not saying this company has used bleaching. I'm just telling you that to get such a clear color is sometimes a result of bleach. It's not the bleach that you pour down the toilet. It's a, it's a, um, a refined, um, bio, I don't know what you call it, um, ke um, chemistry of bleach, whatever it is. But it's the, uh, the, some companies use that. I don't want to mention names. N not in UK. Okay. Now, um, what is the reason why the VG? This is um, an, a nicotine UK is VG based, but still quite runny. So apparently, there is such as 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 a, as, a, as a concept is called. Uh, uh, homogeneity, homogeneity. I think I'm saying it right. That means consistency. So let me try and get it right. You see, the problem that the guy in the office who ordered this liquid, um, even without putting this in the freezer, to take a syringe and take out your measurement, let's say you want to make a 50 mil to a um, 12 milligrams. So you need nearly 10 mil of uh, eight something mil, right? So you need a syringe. Now to take to, to pump out this, this solution is nearly impossible on this type of thickness. The 7.2% uh, nicotine hasn't diluted it much, but it's nearly impossible to use it. I tried it out of the freezer. It was no way. That I, so you have to let it defrost. So let's assume you put it even in smaller bottles. But even in the smaller bottles, this has been in room temperature now for a few hours, and it's not possible to pump it out except if you use a massive syringe with a massive opening. So what did, what did Nico brand do? They keep it consistency, VG based, but it still has got its vg in it, yeah, it's thicker than PG, but still it gives you a consist uh, consistency along the board, meaning that every batch has got the same um, oh, um, homage, uh, uh, what was the word? Homogeneity. Uh, geni uh, I hope I'm not butchering this, na <laughs> this name. But it means to keep it consistent on a certain um, level of thickness of solution. I must tell you, it's much more convenient to use on a regular basis because you don't have to let it defrost for hours in order for you to be able to pull it out from this bottle and to put in your juice. So they keep the, it's not so thick like this company is. Um, well, what else could I tell you about this, um, the whole nicotine thing? I wrote down a few notes here. Um, yeah, one minute, let me just have a look. Oh yeah, another reason why uh, sometimes it's a bit pink, because the glycerin, sometimes they use palm oil um, for some reason, and that sometimes can give the color. But what I understand that this is a natural phenomenon um, from the nicotine. I asked them specifically, when you extract the nicotine from the leaf in laboratory conditions, does it come out as a clear solution? They told me no. It comes out as a maybe a light, very light brown, sometimes a light pink, sometimes a dark pink. When the dark color is more brown, like you've seen in the photo before, that means it's been oxidized. It doesn't mean it's no good unless it's got a foul smell, that if you leave it in a shed, 
in the summer for weeks it's going to go off it's going to have a horrible smell and taste but I've been using this nicotine all the time and it's perfect but I just wanted to clarify this point in regards of being at pink color versus clear in many ways the pink is an advantage that you know that it hasn't been tampered with and you know that this is a natural ingredient the VG and the nicotine yeah I think I covered it as best as I can I mean you could always um, check the COA on on the website and there it tells you exactly what they what they do I'm looking at the website now you can must probably go in if you have a bit of time um, you can email them and and you could ask them a bit more but um, Nico brand is a famous brand um, yeah yeah interesting on their website I've noticed uh, ah, here we go. Stocks of nicotine USP uh, forward slash EP are held at our site in Northern Ireland and in the USA at our trusted distributor Kemula in, uh, in Hudson. Yeah, okay. You can read through on their website Nico Brand and you can phone them. There is a phone number there that you can phone them to verify what I just said and um so if you ever come across um 72 milligrams i don't know any higher concentrations i only use 72 um, and you see them in this color don't be alarmed this is a sign of being a natural process when you put it into the liquid anyway it'll become darker as time goes you know if you take a clear liquid zero milligram nick and you put in your milligrams nicotine over time it darkens and darkens and you still get the same good throat hit it doesn't make no difference and also it, it it's a it's, it's a sign of a healthy natural um f fully 100 percent um scientific proven that this nicotine is a hundred percent um good so the pink in fact is a good sign in con in contrary to most people believe that pink is not i would appreciate if you have any other views or any comments um to enlighten us on the contrary or if you agree with me or if you disagree please let please let us know for me it's also a new subject i always used to buy it f and use it without thinking what color it is until the guy in the office ordered this one as well and he said to me why is this like this why is it so thick why is this white um and why is this pink and that um intrigued me to find out a bit more and that's what i'm giving you over that information um, <clears throat> you could always get in touch also with Nicotine UK on his website. You could email him and ask him for information. If he sees this review uh, and he wishes to comment on what I just said, maybe to edit or rectify or to correct me in some details or to add more information on, on the subject, very much appreciate. Um, so all vapors could know that the nicotine they're vaping on that is manufactured in the UK is top quality nicotine that will last them for years and years in the freezer and retain its qualities and to keep you away from smoking one last vape before the end of this review if you see it on my website on the channel it means that I managed to compose it all and upload it. So I'm trying to, I, I want to upload it fairly quick. So I hope it all works out. Okay, until the next review, take care. Bye-bye for now.